uh, in introduction there are three group of worms uh, one is nematode other is trematode and other is cestode nematodes one go round worm trematodes are flukes category and cestodes are tapeworms there is difference in life cycle mode of infection and pathogenesis in these three groups among the nematodes it can be divided into intestinal nematodes which uh, worms which infest the small intestine are ascaris lumbricoides or round worm strong strong eloides trachoides ankylostoma duodenal and necator necator hoy necatom hoy necator amentanus ei inner one ko chai hukum ko category ho ani large intestine ma trichuris trichuria and stoma intrubius formicularis ei we pom ro pin one non intestinal nematodes nematodes which uh, infest outside the body are phylaresis they cause by uteria bancrofti brugram malai or timori oncosarca oncosarca valvulus and lower lobe you know, which usually affect the eyes and other side toxocaracanis you know which causes severe hyperisnophilia trachinera spiralis worm re resides in the muscles and dracunculosis mediensis and dracunculosis one ko chai african guinea worm ho ekdam lamo huncha and among the trematodes blood fluke liver fluke and long fluke Among the trematodes, blood fluke. The uh, sister soma hematobium, Mansoni and Japonicum. Liver flukes are Clonarchis sinensis, Opistorchis, Fasciola hepatica. Long flukes are Paragonius westmanni. Paragonimus is uh, important, right? Microbiology, mati mali. And intestinal flukes like fasciola boschi. Among the cestodes, giant pupum, tenia solium, tenia sezineta, and diphyllobitrium latum. Block pupum, I mean lepsis nana, dog pupum, bani bonsai, nana, right? Zoonotic cestodes, my econococcus granulosus, and multiocularis. Among these important important are ascaris form, man. Right? Ascaris form causative organism is ascaris, and it is most common worm infestation, affecting one fourth of the world's population. Mode of transmission is by ingestion of eggs, contaminated fruits, and vegetables. They uncook raw fruits, vegetables, and right? soil soil some contact with the water. But nail or my usual nail, my what's that? The soil or some contact with the water. Uh, ingestion boy, when he ascaris can be infested. And clinical symptoms of ascaris are pulmonary ascaris, which occurs during migration of larva through the long, long phase. But there are pulmonary symptoms. In most severe is low flow syndrome. There is fever, cough, wheezing, urticaria, isnophilia, and long infiltrates. Munkal response of stains, so dry episode, wheezing, dry cough, spasmodic dry cough, and so on. Uh, sputum or even production, so it can cause pneumonia also in a lot of syndrome. Now, other is intestinal manifestation, which is common. Uh, in a, this was abnormal distension, vomiting, vague discomfort, and irritability. The vomiting of the worms are passing in fecus. And severe cases, but there can be vomiting out of the worms or passes of live worms in the fecus. Small bowel obstruction, worm could ball, worm ball, or was even it can cause obstruction of the bowel. I, it can even lead to perforation also. Intestinal migration, like in, uh, extra intestinal migration, intestine but a bidirectional migrate body once it can cause polycystitis, liver abscess, pancreatitis. Okay. It results in it results in uh, poor growth and nutritional deficiency in children. I saw a nutrition or runa like consume gardens are worms only, so there will be nutritional deficiency, appetite or decrease on a sauce, poor growth. Management and identification of egg in stool. Stool routine and stool routine is diagnostic. And this much it should be identified in the stool. Live worms may be visualized in stool. Live worms may they have on the diagnostic way. Right? Incidental diagnosis are ultrasound or contrast studies are right? and string shadow, linear feeling defect. Ultrasound can show live moving worms are right? sometimes even accidental detection. Worm detector ultrasound the body then don't for different purposes. 
कंट्रास्टोडी यूएससी कर रहा है ही वांस में भी एक्सीडेंटली डिटेक्ट किया आई ट्रीटमेंट इज सिंपल एल्बेंडाइजोल 400 एमजी वन टाइम और मेबेंडाइजोल कैन गिव यू ना 100 एमजी पर के 100 एमजी ट्वाइस एट ट्वाइस बीडी फॉर थ्री Fifteen years, then not a bunny. After one year, it can be given after two hundred mg. After two years, same dose for children and adults, four hundred mg. Okay. Other uh, drugs which are rarely used are ivermectin and nitazolid. Other important uh, method is lymphatic filariasis, okay, which is caused by Brugemalai. उच्च रेट ऑफ बैंक ऑफ़ थे हम रूम में कॉमन से उच्च रेट ऑफ बैंक ऑफ़ थे वो ब्रुगेटिम होती है ना थ्री डिफरेंट स्पेसीज़ आर डिटेक्टेड रेड लाइक नेमेट्रोस डेट कॉज सिमिलर इन्फेक्शन इन्फेक्टिव लार्वा आर इंट्रोड्यूस इनटू ह्यूमन थ्रू ड्यूरिंग ब्लड फीडिंग बाय मॉस्किटो Adequate number of males and females accumulate in the afferent lymphatic vessels. Adult female worm release large number of microfilari into the circulation. It's a lymphatic disease wire. Worm resides usually in the lymphatic system. You know? And microfilari are the main uh, components of main pathogenic component of the uh, filaria. You know? The life cycle of the parasite is completed when mos mosquitoes ingest microfilari in the blood milk. Which moves to form infective larva over a period of 10 to 14 days. Right? Adult worms have 5 to 7 years of lifespan, long lifespan. You can see life cycles rarely signs, mainly clinical signs. There are few diseases like hookworm, you find a nervous life cycle in China. Approximately 10 to 20 percent of the individuals have clinical significant morbidity attributable to filariasis. Which area bankruptcy is transmitted in Africa, Asia, and Latin America? Also, 90% of the cases. Which area is the most common? Right? 2020, my global emulation was the target. I know that is achieved for a lot. We have seen. Yes, what's a human stage? Unza, mosquito stage? Unza, I know. Yeah, but I don't know. First million, I know. Microfilaries. Adult uh, in the lymphatic system, mosquito takes some uh, blood meal, right? adult in the lymphatic system, develop into adult into lymphatic system, adult produce seated microfilarity that migrate into the lymph and blood channels, and blood my microfilaria, if mosquito bites again, they ingest the microfilaria, microfilaria sits, sits and penetrate mosquito midgut and migrate to the thoracic muscles, right? Three stages of larva are passing. So migrate to the head of the mosquito and proboscis. Next bite of very infected. So infected again develop into adult microfilaria inside the human body. I do it a phase now. So see. two stages: mosquito stage and human stage. Clinical manifestations are important. And the clinical manifestations of uh, all three are similar. Manifestation of acute infection include transient recurrent lymphadenitis and lymphangitis. If fever fever only, and it is possible lymph. Lymphatitis, one, lymphatitis, one, lymph node or tender, painful, one, or streaks of lymphatic vessels are visible, one, painful, one, lymphatitis, one, such. Early signs and symptoms include episodic fever, lymphatitis of the extremity, lymphatitis, especially inguinal or axillary area, one, lymph node can be enlarged and painful. By headaches, myalgia, this can last up to several days and weeks. These symptoms are caused by acute inflammatory response triggered by death of adult worm. I like boys, some they are protected. By the seed, I know that once dead, I know immune phenomena activates, which causes the appearance of the symptoms. Initial damage to the limb vessels may remain subclinical for years. The syndrome is most frequently observed in young person, 10 to 20 years. The manifestation of chronic lymphatic filariasis is 30 years and above. What I'm saying, they were the elephant axis and. The severe uh, the symptoms of uh, filaria and cutar to know anything else usually seen in adult population only. Children mm -hmm. right? This obsession results in lymphedema of the leg, arms, breast, and gender. And right? it's like an elephant diocese. Chronic lymphedema predisposes affected extremities to bacterial super infections, sclerosis, varicose 
in fact, skin changes and resulting in elephantiasis, and which may involve one or both limbs, breast, genitalia. It is uncommon for children to have overt signs of chronic fibrosis. Children may use the hidden eh? chronic impediments. Other symptom important is tropical pulmonary ischemia. This should be differentiated from Loeffler syndrome. Eh? Loeffler syndrome is a yaskarisma, it's a TPE, so tropical pulmonary ischemia, which is more important in case of medicine than in pediatrics. Eh? The epidemic was short by review. Also. The presence of microfilaria in the body has no apparent pathological consequence except in person with TPE. Eh? The syndrome of filary etiology in which microfilaria is, are found in lungs. Lymph node, but not in bloodstream. Bloodstream now, by the long cell lymph node, my uh, infest cause. Right? It occurs in individuals who have lived for years in endemic region. Men 20 to 30 years of age are more likely to be affected. So it, it excludes the pediatric age group. And although the syndrome occasionally occurs in children, rarely it can also occur in children. And the <laughs> presentation includes paroxysmal nocturnal <coughs> cough with dyspnea, fever, weight loss, and fatigue. Real stronghai are found on auscultation of the chest. The extra finding may occasionally be normal, but there may be increased bronchovascular markings, discrete opacities in the middle and basal region of the lung, and diffuse miliary lesion may also be present. And recurrent episode may lead to interstitial fibrosis of the lung and chronic respiratory insufficiency. And basically, it is a disease of the adults. Really, sometimes occurring in children, and our recurrent wheezing are. Uh, pulmonary infiltrate aru, which does not disappear after repeated exercise and uh, isnophilia aru, chawani, you should be suspecting if the patient is coming from endemic region and endemic is high now uh, you should think of other diseases uh, primarily and generalized lymphadenopathy are often seen in children diagnosis is suggested by residents in filar endemic region and diagnosis is endemic region ko hundu pare isnophilia 200 a 2000 per Microliter and right? compatible symptoms like wheezing, tinaru, and increased serum IG level more than 1000 international unit per ml, nitritis of microfilaria antibodies in absence of microfilaria. And it's a diagnostic criteria by TPU. Although microfilaria may be found in sections of long and lymph node, biopsy of the tissues are unwarranted. Right? It is not easy to perform long biopsies, so it is not warranted. The clinical response to DEC. DC go ethyl carbamazepine is drug choice. It's so clinical response here is the final criteria. If the DC did the head, there is rapid improvement within a week, sign then TP can be confirmed. And majority of the symptoms, a patient improve with this therapy. If symptoms occur, a second course of anti elementic should be administered. Patients with chronic symptoms are less likely to show improvement than those who have been ill for a short time. Yes, I have a file that is going to investigation and demonstration of microfilaria in blood is primary means of confirming the diagnosis and because microfilaria is nocturnal, nocturnal 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. by the blood circulation now, so the molecular life cycle product by usually nocturnal on chain of value. Anticoagulate blood is passed through the nucleoport filter, which is stained and examined microscopically for microfilaria. And bit options are you night time my blood collection one for you. Or there is DEC provocation test. They want to get a small dose of diethyl carbamazepine in the name. They go up for one hour, my microfilaria appeared in the blood. And this is a sampling one for a beta techniques. Adult worms and microfilaria can be identified in tissue specimen obtained at biopsy. Infection with Ucheria bankruptcy in absence of uh, blood borne microfilaria may be diagnosed by detection of parasite antigen in the serum. You know, you, you thought you can detect point on say. You can send serum antigen. Adult worm in lymphatic vessels can be visualized by ultrasonography. US CMA coin can it can be visualized. Right? Lymph node to low which ultrasonography is ultrasonography the movement of the or it can be seen as uh, elongated right? hyperechoic structures. Uh, treatment by DEC may be given to asymptomatic microfilaria patient to lower the intensity of parasitemia. And drug also kills a proportion of animal. Right? Because the treatment is associated with complications like pruritis, fever, generalized body pain, hypotension, and even death. And right? the DC mass campaign got the heavy reaction around the Usually patients who are infected by microfilaria. Right? 
बुझी सडनली धीरे हाइपर टेन्सन इवन डेथ कैन अकर लास्ट टाइम भी डीसी कैंपेन कर रिपोर्टेड डेथ है इट कैन बी ड्यू टू ड्रग इट कैन बी ड्यू टू दिस कम्प्लिकेशन एसोसिएटेड विथ ट्रिटमेंट डीसी सुड बी इंक्रीज डोज अफ डीसी इन चिल्ड्रेन सुड बी इंक्रीज ग्रेजुअली है वन एमजी पर केजी पर डे पर स्टार्ट करने सींगल डोज बिस्तार बिस्तार बढ़ा टोटल सिक्स एमजी पर केजी थ्री डिवाइड डोज में लाने है एंड डोज सुड बी गिवन फर फोर टू फोर्टीन डेज फोर डेज में स्टार्ट एटलिस्ट फोर्टीन डेज दिन पट कैन बी गिवन अप टू ट्वेंटी वन डेज हाई फर पेसेंट विथ नो माइक्रोफिलर एंड ब्लड द फुल डोज सिक्स एमजी पर केजी पर डे इन थ्री डिवाइड डोज कैन बी स्टार्ट है can be given beginning on day one repeated dosing may be necessary and by improvement by now repeat dosing can be uh, given if needed the global programs to control and ultimately eradicate lymphatic filariasis is currently recommend single annual dose of dc 6 mg per kg od in combination with albendazole for children less than 5 years children less than 5 years and for 5 consecutive years अभी बाकी हुकुम को लाइफ साइकिल ये पम को एक चीज सोच टैनिया सैजेन्डरम कैनिया सोलियम को लाइफ साइकिल है ये दुईटा तीम एकचोटी आप कम से कम प्रोटोटाइप कुछ यहाँ इंक्लूड कर दीज आर दीज टू आर द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेन्ट लिविंग थेसिस बाकी तीम सेल्फ आप धेरेवटा हुकुम छुपम अस पच्चीस के भाचुरी टाइचुरी है तर मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट इज एंकलेस्टोमा ड्यूटिनल अनिया सोलियम हाई दुईटा तीम पढ़ने पर्व अर्थ फिश टेपम अफ पोसिबल है पारेगोनिमियासि लंग फ्लू को बारे में अलग हेन पर्ला तीम भाई अलग इजीला इंपोर्टेंट होगा पारेगोनिमियासि तीम माइक्रो बायोलॉजी में एकदम इंपोर्टेंट माइक्रो में पढ़ी सकते हैं आज Any questions? Questions or case?